Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Wilfredo. Good to see you. Hello. Nice. Nice. Hello, nice Hello Andrea. You. Hello, Juan. How are you guys? Hi. I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, good Bye. night. Sorry. I hope good. you're having a good, wonderful night. I hope you guys already ate dinner, drank coffee. <laughs> right? All right, excellent. So you guys are ready? Let's go ahead and get started, right? I have some, uh, we're going to continue this uh, today and tomorrow. We're gonna do speaking always, right? But uh, I hope that you guys are looking at different uh, strategies. How can I do the speaking activity? What notes I can take, right? That's the important thing, right? So let me just share here a, a simple Word document so that we can get some, um, some, uh, some ideas. Let me share with you guys. Okay, so we talked about the, the linking words, right? That we can use, okay? Remember that sometimes uh, you're going to have to use a, the phrase, for example, okay? A, for instance, and sometimes you can say, to give you an idea, okay? These are all phrases that you can use for uh, to clarify your point, to give more information about your opinion. You can give examples. So, so you can say, right, literalmente, use the phrase, for example, right? Uh, I, think, uh, I think restaurants should not allow people to smoke because blah, 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 right? And I give my opinion, for example, for instance, to give you an idea, okay? So this is uh, good phrases that you can use, right? Y también son linking words, really, right? Those are linking words also, okay? Uh, I don't know if you guys have different ones that you use, right? Do you use different ones? Uh, for example, you're speaking and you want to give an example, give more information, what do you say? What do you normally say when you want to give more information? In addition. Okay, very good. In addition, okay. So this is, for example, ya, ya presenté un punto, voy a presentar ahora otro punto in addition, right? Very good. Okay, so this is something that you can use, right, for, for your... All right, so keep that in mind. All right, now, when you're going to finish an idea, what do you say, right? What phrase or linking, linking word do you use when you're going to finish your idea, right? What do you use? To conclude. To conclude. Okay, very good. To conclude. To conclude. Okay, very good. What else? Finally. Right? Finally, what else? To sum up. Hey, to sum up, very good. Mm -hmm. That means to finish, okay? Uh, in conclusion, in conclusion, okay? Very good, so the, the idea is that you have this. I mean, esto es lo que, lo que literalmente van a decir ustedes, van a grabar su voz, right? So it's good for you to follow different type of ideas, okay? All right, so use the linking words, definitely, definitely use the linking words, right? Now we did a different, uh, different thought organization charts, right? Eh, no sé cuál chart van a, usar, van a usar ustedes, right? Pero ya deberían de estar como ya anil, anil, analizando un chart, right? Tal vez voy a usar este con tres puntos, right? Three different points. I'm going to put here uh, idea one and detail, right? Idea two and detail, okay? 
no tiene que ser así específicamente, pero sí deberían de. And I'm going to put here conclusion. Okay. Right? Deberían de estar ya usando un, un, una estructura. Okay. Wilfredo, which one do you use right now? What structure are you going to use? Microphone. It's similar as that one. Okay. Uh, it's similar as that one. Okay. And uh, the, the only thing that I do is that uh, each idea that I'm taking note with, I just put the, uh, how do you call this? Uh, uh, how do you call the asterisco? Uh, yeah, yeah. Asterisco is uh, in English is star. Uh, yeah. I think it's star. Uh, yeah, star. I, I just, I just, this is star and I just, Get real. I mean, I write. I write down the idea mm -hmm. I got, and, and I keep on taking notes. You know. Very good. Very good. And then, um, for example, uh, I didn't put it here, right? But you're gonna have your main idea, right? Here at the beginning. The main right? idea. I got the main idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. main idea. The uh, starts, and then uh, I got. Uh, I could use like you saying, like uh, in conclusion. Finally, mm -hmm. um, you know, to conclude. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And now sometimes it, the, the actual, the question would tell you, give examples for your opinion, right? We're, we're going, we're going to yeah. do a test today and you're going to see that question number one there, right? It, it says, give examples for your ideas. So uh, here, instead of details, I'm going to say, for example, right? Or you can say example one, example two, example three. Okay. So remember, sometimes you're going to you're going to have to give examples. Okay. All right. Alguien más tiene algún otra algún otra estructura? Okay. This is a this is another one that you can use. All right. Uh, you can use something like this. No sé si alguien más tiene, tiene otra, pues lo, lo puede compartir, no hay problema. Okay. You can do something like this too. Let me see, a ver si me sale. Okay. What about uh, something like this, Wilfredo, right? ¿Funcionaría algo así? Sí, claro. Main idea. Uh, detail, detail, and the last one, lo más chiquito, que va a ser más breve, conclusion. The conclusion. Okay. Yeah, it like, works out. Yeah, something like this can work, right, for you? And uh, you have yep. 15, 15 seconds to prepare, right? So in those 15 seconds, tal vez no tuviera tiempo de escribir todo esto, right? But I, I will. I will skip the main idea, right? Like I will sk skip that, right? Porque ya, ya sabemos mm -hmm. de, que, de que se trata, right? For example, they asked me an opinion. Uh, wh uh, what do you think is, uh, what makes a good boss for you, okay? In your opinion, what makes a great boss? And then, okay. Eh, entonces voy a repetir esa misma frase. Uh, to me, a person that makes a great boss is someone that, Blah, blah, blah. Detail one, detail two, and conclusion. So yeah. you, don't, you don't have to write the main idea, right? You can skip that. But así como, como Wilfredo, like he uses a symbol, right? El usa el, 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 the star, the star, right? Star, yeah. Right? So he comes and he does something like this, right? And he says, Aquí, I, that's, my, that's my opinion, right? Ma mainly when I'm, I'm, I'm listening to a a context or, I mean, I, uh, listening, I take notes from what they're talking about as an, as an ideas for, mm -hmm. and I keep my leaking words in my mind so so I can apply them in, in the, um, I mean, I say that I, that I'm gonna, that they're going to uh, perform. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. You know I mean? Now, mm -hmm. if you have 45 seconds, right? If you have 45 seconds to speak, uh, digamos, right, for example, uh, my linking word, I mean, I'm sorry, the main idea expressing the main idea is like five seconds, right? 
So it doesn't make it at 20 seconds for the detail one, 20 seconds for detail two, 20 seconds for conclusion, right? That's it. So maybe one or two sentences. It's what I recommend, right? For each, each section. Okay, maybe one or two sentences that you can give. All right, so no, no es que tiene que escribir cada detail, eh, cada cuadrito aquí va a ser, eh, voy a pasar ahí 30 segundos cada uno. No, you know, short, right? Three sentences, the most, right? Y ya van a ver que así poco a poco el tiempo va a pasar. Ahora, si te dan 45 seconds, no significa que tenés que hablar hasta el último segundo, right? You can... You know, maybe you can answer in 40 seconds, right? En realidad, lo que están midiendo no es que hablas, que hables hasta el último segundo, sino que sea completo, sea coherente. Okay. All right. Very good. Questions? Questions? All right. So, todos deberían de estar usando algún tipo de estructura, right? Tanto para notas como para su preparación de speaking. All right, you guys are ready to do a practice test? Let's go straight to it, right? No gastemos tiempo. Let's go straight to a practice test, okay? All right. Okay, let me wait. I'm going to share audio. Okay. Let me see Okay. All right, so we're going to play the video. I found uh, I found a video here, which is the, the newest to uh, TOEFL. It's the most up-to-date. Dice versión 2020, right? Este año creo que no, no han hecho mucho con el TOEFL por la pandemia, right? But uh, esta versión 2020, right? The new version of the test. Uh, the person that's, that's here, that's speaking, eh, ahí lo pueden encontrar en YouTube. Él tiene un, bastantes tips, bastantes videos muy buenos, ¿ok? So, anoten la website de él ahí, la información. Eh, les va a dar una introducción primero, ¿ok? Right? Finally, it's here. A complete version of the new TOEFL speaking section. Everybody's favorite section of the test. Probably not, but... Uh, so, this is a new version of the test. For those who don't know, on August 1st, 2019, the TOEFL test has changed. And for the speaking, it's changed in a big way. Now, I know you wanna start taking the test as soon as possible, but let me just really quickly tell you how it's changed. Pretty simple. In the past, there were six speaking questions. Now, there are four speaking questions. They took one independent question away, which was speaking question number one, and they took one integrated speaking question, which is speaking question number five. Everything else will look the same. So, what used to be speaking question two is now speaking question one. What used to be speaking question three is now speaking question two. What used to be speaking question four is now speaking question three. Speaking question five, bye-bye. And speaking question six is now speaking question four. That's it. That's the changes to the TOEFL, and this is the updated version. Be sure to download the PDF version, which includes uh, audio files and actual answers, so you can hear uh, a perfect, quote-unquote, speaking response to these questions. And also, our site, tstprep.com, does speaking evaluations. My name is Josh McPherson. I'm the head instructor of TST Prep, and our mission is simple to help you get the TOEFL score you need as quickly and easily as possible. Let me stop talking so you can start actually doing the test. Get a pen and a piece of paper ready. Get ready to record your voice as well because now it's time to do the TOEFL speaking section. Okay, let me read the instruction, guys, just to be clear. The following speaking section of the test will last between 30, 20 and 30 minutes. To complete the test, you will have you will need to read a recording device that you can play back to listen to your response. You should also have a pen and paper ready. 
During the test, you will answer four speaking questions. One of the questions asks about familiar topics. Three questions ask about short conversations, lectures, and reading passages. The time you will have to prepare your response and the speaking is printed below in the question. All right, let's go. Directions. You will now be asked a question about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to plan your response and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Coworkers make the best friends. Provide details and examples to explain your opinion. Okay, very good. Let me just stop it right there. This is the question. Question number one. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? Coworkers make the best friends. Okay. Examples. Explain. Okay. 45 seconds. All right. So let's go ahead and prepare, right? Pre you should prepare your response right now. You have 15 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 45 seconds to speak. You may. Okay, now 45 seconds to speak. Uh, if you see, there's a clock there. You can see the time right there on the on the bottom. Begin speaking now. Okay, who's gonna go first? Who wants to explain this question? Do you agree or disagree with the following statements? Coworkers make the best friends. Provide examples to explain your opinion. What do you think? Uh, me? Andrea, go. Uh, I'm in agreement with the question because uh, when I started, to work in front of the loom, I knew uh, some co-workers that at the beginning, they mm -hmm. offered me uh, help for doing my task. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we spend the major of time of our days working. Mm -hmm. So we started a relation first, like, co-workers and now uh, we are friends uh, mm -hmm. sometimes when we have a lot of activities uh, we share our preoccupations and mm -hmm. your, our priorities and then we we help us together and we work like a real team mm -hmm. and in the past, I worked in other place, but my co-workers are, were yellows sometimes, mm -hmm. and they had envy mm -hmm. for others. So the environment is was was so um, hard, mm -hmm. uh, but now uh, finally I found a place where. Uh, the relationship of co-workers and friends go together. Okay, all right. All right, very good, Andrea. Uh, can you restate or can you repeat your first reason? Uh, my first reason is mm -hmm. uh, uh, first we knew mm -hmm. uh, all the team and then uh, we developed a uh, relationship of friends okay. first 
co-workers and then uh, friends. Okay. This is the first idea. Okay. Well, so, so in short, what is the point? What is the main idea? Number one. You agree? Co-workers make the best friends because, 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 oh, sorry, I'm parking the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, first is that uh, we evolute our relationship. Okay. Co-workers make the best friends because uh, and then you because have to... we have, uh, mm -hmm. because we we help us when we have a problem. We help us or each other. Each other. Okay, very good. So I that. That's the first one, right? That's going to be your main idea, right? Because mm -hmm. we help each other. For example, porque they, they look at the question, right? They want you to provide examples. So what you're going to do here is. Use the phrase, for example. Right? Okay, like a connection. Like a connection, correct. Right, so that's going to be your main idea or your first detail. Co-workers make the best friends because we help each other. For example, blah, blah, blah. And here you can talk about your experience. It's no problem. You can talk about your own opinion, experience. That's fine. But uh, mm -hmm. that's going to be your first one, right? And your number yeah. two? And no matter if we were working in a difficult project, mm -hmm. we try to help each other. Okay, so no, that's going to be number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two said uh, you're going to now change from idea one to idea two. What do you have to do? Linking uh, in, in in the other hand. Uh, no, on the other hand, significa. No. In, adi in addition. In addition. In addition. In addition. Right. In addition. That's gonna. Now you're going to introduce number two. In addition. In addition, when we were busy in our own task, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if someone needs help, uh, we support each other. Okay, very good. All right, do you think idea number one and idea number two are the same? Uh, mm, we help I, each other, we support each other. Uh, it's the same. Uh, mm, it, it sounds the same, right? Yes. Yeah, we help each other, for example, blah, blah, blah. In addition, we support each other, for example, blah, blah, blah. So I think that those are the same, right? So idea one and idea two can be this, it's almost the same, right? All right. Yes. This is good in addition to, that's very good because now you're going to introduce your second idea, right? So you have to you have to keep that in mind, right? Go like, um, by, I will have a checklist of three cosas. Three things, three reasons why coworkers make the best friends, right? Number one, we help each other. Number two, what do you think? Mm, we solve problems together or okay. working projects. Okay, all right. We work on projects together. That that would be number two. And finally. Uh, and finally, after a lot of those experience, we mm we build a friendship okay all right very good all right there you go okay so that that's that's a little better right maybe we can change number two maybe we can change number two but number one we help each other number two maybe you can think about another idea and number three we build a uh, close relationships okay very good so i stand to try ideas right the reason I tell you this is that you don't make the mistake of talking too much or like dándole vuelta, you know, that you are organized mm -hmm. in your in your in your in your ideas, right? 
Do you agree or disagree with the following statements? Co-workers make the best friends. Yes, I agree, okay? Why do you agree? You have to give three reasons. I agree because, number one, blah, blah, blah. In addition, I agree, y puede repetir el mismo statement otra vez. I agree that co-workers make the best friends because, blah, blah, blah. Finally, co-workers make the best friends because, blah, blah, blah. Okay? No tengan pena de repetir esta frase otra vez. Co-workers make the best friends. Porque es lo que ustedes creen, lo que quieren apoyar. Right? So you can, okay. you, you can repeat the phrase. You can repeat it here. Right? No es que, no, no quiero así como sound redundant, but I mean, you can repeat it, right? Because you are introducing your new idea. Also, remember to use because. Es como si yo le preguntara, why? Why do you believe that? Why do you think like that? Why? And you're going to answer because. Because. All right, very good. Let's go to question number two, okay? Question number two is going to be a reading and a listening, okay? So you guys are ready? You have to take notes. Directions. You will now read a short passage and then listen to a conversation on the same topic. You will then be asked a question about the passages. After you hear the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. You have 45 seconds to read the passage below. You may begin reading now. Okay, you guys should be reading and taking notes. The main idea, skimming and scanning. Okay, I'm just going to stop it right there. What is the main idea? What is the main idea of this passage? Scheduling with the advisor. Uh-huh. And, and what is the problem? Why why are students Why do students have to schedule? Scheduling for the uh, different uh, different subject that has been the uh, career. Subject, has been the career. Okay. Eh, yo escucho okay. un eco. Me escucho dos veces. Creo que tienen, alguien tiene el celular y también la computadora a la misma vez. La solamente vez. pónganle mute ah, en solamente una vez. Pónganle mute. Okay. Very good. So the problem is, there's a problem, right? What is the problem? And row in that the wrong class. In, in the wrong courses. Yes, correct. This is the problem, right? This is the problem. So they don't graduate on time. Here, aquí viene el problema también. They don't graduate on time. Okay. So what do you think the conversation is going to be about? The problem, right? Right. So the conversation is going to be about the problem. Okay, so it's, it's important oh, that you okay. identify, identify the main idea, right? Aquí hay como un cambio de, de normas, de, de protocolo, right? But why? That's the problem. Find the problem, and that's going to help you identify the conversation, okay? Let's listen to the conversation. Now listen to a conversation about the same topic. Hey, Kyle, did you know that the students have to consult with an advisor to create their schedules now? Yeah, I heard, and I totally agree. Plenty of other schools do the same thing. It makes picking courses so much easier. Really? But don't you think most of us want to choose our own schedules? You see, that's the problem. Students choose what they want instead of what they need. It's been a total mess. For example, last semester, there were about five students in my World History 2 class that never took World History 1. 
Needless to say, they struggled the whole semester. Are you saying that someone can choose History 2 without completing History 1? Yes, and that's insane! In my History 2 class, these students kept asking questions about things we had already gone over in the introductory course. They were a complete distraction. I guess I see your point. I mean, besides that, now students get a chance to speak with an advisor so they can figure out how the classes they take may benefit them in their future career. Last semester, I wanted to take a class called History of Rock and Roll because it sounded cool. But my advisor pointed out that it wasn't a requirement and wouldn't help me much in the future if I wanted to get involved in public policy. All right, all right, you sold me. So when should we make our appointments to see the advisor? Now, answer the question. The man expresses his opinion on scheduling with advisors. State his opinion and explain the reason he gives for holding that opinion. Okay, so the man expresses his opinion on the announcement. Does he agree or disagree? The man. He agrees. He agrees, right, with the reading yeah. passage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you remember some reasons? Yes, the because students take courses in a messy way. And the students take courses that they don't have the prerequisites for. And it will help understand what the classes will be about. Okay, very good. Uh, Miguel, can you repeat number one so I can write it? They are taking courses in a messy way, the students. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And the second two. is that they, the, no, taking the courses in the, well, not take, not having the prerequisites for the courses they take. Uh, okay, very good. And lastly, it will be beneficial because they, it, an advisor can explain what the courses will be about and how they can help them. Also, he, he talks about the distraction that they become for others. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So I'm not I'm not writing a lot, right? Usted no tiene que escribir todo esto, but you do have 30 seconds to prepare your answers, right? So very good. So here we have some reasons for that. All right. So when I am speaking, right? Yo lo quisiera es first of all, blah blah blah. Second, blah blah blah. Third, blah blah blah. And finally, number four, blah blah blah. Right, that's what I would do, okay? All right, I'm going to give you guys the time, 30 seconds to prepare your answers. You have 30 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. You now have 60 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. Okay, very good. Go ahead and if you want, we're going to skip this, right? Since you guys are not speaking into the microphone, but who wants to go? Who will share their ideas? Who wants to go? How would you answer this, right? And I'm going to uh, time you. I'm going to give you one minute to speak. Who wants to share? Who wants to try it? If you want, you can copy the ones that I have there, the reasons. Okay. Nine, nine, All right. What I, what I would do is I'll give you my opinion. And then I will let you 
another person go, okay? So I'm going to time myself here, right? Que es lo que ustedes deberían de estar haciendo también, timing yourself, okay? The man uh, said that he agrees with uh, the student service department. He believes, first of all, that taking courses in a messy way can be harmful for the students. Secondly, uh, not having the, the prerequisites to take the courses can create a problem because the students will not be ready for the, the, the second level class. Thirdly, uh, having to speak to an advisor can be a good thing because students can take courses that benefit them for their career. And finally, uh, he says that students that do not have the required courses sometimes become a distraction in class because they don't know what's happening. Finish. Okay. Yo hice algo así, right. right? That's something that I would do, right? I mean, you, you guys can have your different, your different ideas, but do you see? that the most important step is preparation. That's the most important thing. Porque si no estuviera yo brincando por todo lado, I would be jumping from ideas, right? So the first thing is to organize your, your, uh, your speaking, right? So lo primero es organizar esto, right? Pero esto viene de donde? No viene de, de la nada, de donde viene? Notes. Viene de las notes, the, the, the listening notes, right? So Miguel did a very good job. And I think as alguien más me dio la número cuatro, you guys did a very good job in listening to the reasons, right? And that came from the notes. So yeah, que ustedes me dieron esto, right? I was able to uh, create the notes. And my speaking was easy. Ahí solo le metí las linking words, right? And that's it. And that's all you have to do, right? Al final me quedaron cinco segundos, pero no, no necesariamente tengo que hablar hasta el último segundo. Okay? So this is uh, very important, right? That you guys take good notes. All right. Alguien quiere ir? Somebody wants to try it? Somebody wants to try it? Give it a try, okay? Les puedo poner el reloj ahí para que ustedes vean el reloj. Are you speaking? Yes? I want to try. All right, very good. Okay, uh, when you see the clock there, you can begin. You may begin speaking okay. now. The man told that he agrees with the statement from the student service department. First of all, because the students take many courses that they shouldn't take because it's not a prerequisite of their career. Second, because the academic advisor can help them to choose the courses in an organized way. And finally, because the students that take the courses that they shouldn't take become a distraction for the other students because they struggle during all the semester. Good, excellent, good job. Okay, very good, very good. All right, at the beginning, you hesitated. Do you know what that is, hesitated? Hesitate yeah, is, yeah. is, right, it's no brincaste, right? At the beginning, but what you can do is express the question. Yo leí la pregunta otra vez. The man agrees with the, yo me perdí también, yo digo, who was he speaking to? But I just read the question here, right? Me va a ser la información que está en la pregunta. The man agrees with the student service department because blah, blah, blah. Also, next, secondly, third, finally. Yeah, you ustedes solo ponen linking words, right? Okay, very good, excellent. Let's go to another question. And let's see, let's continue working, right? Ya vieron la importancia de las notas, right? When you take notes, very important. Okay, let's see. All 
All right, number three. A lecture on the same topic. You will then be asked a question about the passages. After you hear the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. You have 45 seconds to read the passage below. You may begin reading now. Okay, go ahead and read the passage. Okay, very good. What is the main idea of the reading passage? What do you think is the main idea of the reading passage? What are they talking about? Consumerism, right? Consumerism. Okay, very good. And what is that? Compassionate consumerism. What is that? It's when you have to pay more for some product in order to give a percentage to the charity. That's what. Okay, very good. So you purchase, uh, individuals make a purchase, a portion of the money, they pay is allocated to the charitable cause. All right, so that's compassionate consumerism. Now, I don't know- if is, it like, it, is it like donation? No, the money that you pay for the product, for example, you buy a shirt that costs $30, maybe 5% of that will go to a charity, okay? Pero no necesariamente que vas a pagar más por la camisa because it, it doesn't say here in the passage, right? But um, some people agree, some people disagree, right? Why do why do some people disagree? Why do they disagree? There are some people that disagree. Why? Because they believe it's a marketing ploy. Yes, aquí dice, while critics to target audiences. Correct. Critics feel, and they say, alguien va a criticar este punto, right? So this is important for you to uh, capture the idea, right? They are correct. They think it's a marketing ploy aimed at appealing to people in their 20s and 30s, okay? Others applaud the effort. Others think it's a good idea, okay? So what do you think the conversation is going to be about? What do you think the conversation? American uh, it's going to be about this, definitely, right? It's going to be about compassionate consumerism, but it's, it will probably be, if it's a conversation between two people, maybe it's going to be some people agreeing or disagreeing, okay? Or maybe it's going to be one professor speaking about this and giving both points. Va a estar dando las dos caras de la moneda, right? So, you know, be careful with that. All right, let's go listen to the passage, the reading, I mean, the, the listening. <laughs> let's listen to the lecture. Now listen to a lecture about this topic in a business class. Now, as the reading suggests, many companies have embraced the idea of compassionate consumerism over the past few years. Studies show that customers are generally supportive of such efforts, especially very young shoppers. Not only that, but companies make a lot of additional profits from this kind of compassionate marketing. Some companies even thrive off of it. Now take ABC Shoes, for example. They're kind of like the pioneer of this type of consumerism. You know the shoes, right? Those flat, simple slip-on shoes, which are based on a type of traditional Argentinian footwear called an alpargata. Anyway, ABC Shoes achieved a huge market share about seven years ago with their one-for-one -one business model. 
Basically, if you buy a pair of ABC shoes, they donate another pair of shoes to an impoverished individual. While this program has cost ABC shoes a lot of money to administer, they've also made so much profit that they've expanded to include not only shoes, but also eyewear and coffee. Speaking of coffee, another famous company that has adopted the compassionate consumerism model is Bob's Coffee. The one-for-one -one model doesn't make much sense for a cup of coffee, but a portion of the cost of certain items is sometimes donated to various nonprofit organizations. Since Bob's deals closely with coffee bean farmers in South America, they have recently launched a campaign where 10% of all purchases are donated to preserving the South American rainforest. And, would you believe it, on the day they announced the campaign, there was a line out the door at Bob's Coffee right here on campus. Now, answer the question. Using the examples from the lecture, explain what compassionate consumerism is and how it works. You have 30 seconds to prepare your response. You may begin preparing now. Okay, go ahead guys, I'll let you prepare. Think about the examples. Perhaps. Go ahead, you got 30 seconds, prepare. Corporations says that they are going to donate a percentage You now have 60 seconds to speak. You may begin speaking now. Okay, very good. So what do you have for your preparation? What do you have? Um, first, uh, it works in, a, in the way that part of the earnings are given to, to charity. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it's, else? What do I say? Companies do gain more profit from it, apparently, mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. well, it leads to an increase in customers from the people that want to be supportive to the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good, very good. So do you have uh, two examples or only one? Actually, that app, that does apply for to both examples. Okay. ABC shoes uh, gain, gain more customers, mm -hmm. mainly because it's a leading company in this thing, in this idea. Mm -hmm. And both, both Scuffy, Mm -hmm. As soon as they started using the idea, they saw mm -hmm. a big increase in customers. Very good, very good. Okay, so how would you organize your different there your different ideas? What did you do first? ¿Qué vas a hacer primero? ¿Qué vas a decir después? What are you going to do? How would you start the, the speaking? What would you say first? How would you start? Uh, you have to be uh, based on the question, right? So let's read the question one more time. Using the examples from the lecture, explain what compassionate consumerism is and how it works. So you can divide your, your speaking in two sections there. Right, so the oh, first right, thing you would do, I have it. so the first thing you could probably do, Miguel, is give a definition, right? Mm -hmm. Right, give a definition, right? You can say, compassionate consumerism is, y ahí te dale la definición que tú quieras, whatever is in your own words, right? How do you understand it? And then how it works, and then you can talk about example, one ABC store shoe shoe company, or example number two Bob's Coffee, or if you want to put those together and give one example, that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
¿Quién más? ¿Alguien más tiene algún, algún flow, algún uh, structure, organization that you would use? Right? ¿Cómo empezaría? Like, what would you say first? What would you say second? How would you start? Nadie. <laughs> Come on, guys, give me your ideas. What do you think? Nah, yo solo les estoy tratando de ayudar. This is my ideas, but maybe you have other ideas. That's fine. The only thing that you have to do, the only rule is you have to be organized. That's the only thing. Okay, what do you have? Somebody else? Okay, I'm going to go and give the first example, right? Like we did last time, okay? Okay, to me, according to the article, compassionate consumerism is a business model that allows companies to donate some of the profits to a charitable organization. And what, whenever customers pay for something, a part of that money is going to go to a good cause. Uh, for example, ABC Shoe Company, and they donate a pair of shoes to someone that has a need. Example number two, Bob's Coffee, they give a part of their profit to South America to save the rainforest in South America. That's it finish <laughs> right maybe your ideas are different but that's how i will speak now podríamos dar la definición en 10 segundos right consumerism a, a compassionate consumerism right but the problem there is that they want us to speak for one minute right so that can be a problem Me quedo uh, corto, answer so. the question using the examples from the so i would i would speak for for one minute maybe talking about the examples that I heard. Uh, what how would you do this one? How would you respond? Because you have one minute, right? It's one minute to respond. Respond time, 60 seconds. ¿Cómo responderían ustedes? What would you do? Hmm? Time me up. Okay, are we ready? And how it works. Well, ready? You have uh, seconds to prepare your response. Compassionate you consumerism. Preparing. Works. And, oh, no, wait. This is the response. I give you the answer. Now. Go. Okay. okay uh, compassionate consumerism is mainly about uh, profits that they earn to share with charities mm -hmm. that in that are located in South America and several places. And it works as that the profit they have of the amount of money that they uh, sell, like ABC Choose and Bob Coffees, they give part of this money to these charities uh, places so to help them maybe for uh for poor people you know that's that's it that's all i had okay all right very good okay wilfredo good uh did you organize your ideas what do you have yeah there? i organize it's like i got in my notes uh i got these uh consumerism profit i got this uh business model a lot mm -hmm. of uh, money that they, uh, I mean, that they earn, they share it with these charity, charity mm -hmm. uh, places. Mm -hmm. And that's it, that's what I got. That's, those are the notes that I took. Okay, all right. Now, that's the notes that you, he you heard in the listening, right? What yeah, about those are the notes that um, I hear in the listening. What about the preparation for speaking? 
the preparation for his speaking, I, I, I was trying to apply my linking words and all that I, about these notes that I took, but I, <laughs> I couldn't find out the way that, uh, the time I got to speak to you, you know. Yeah, and that that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's what... no, I couldn't find out. And I got loose. I jumped around, you know, like you say, you know, I just jump out and I come out from the, what I want to talk to. Yeah, yeah. You know? Look, the question is going to ask you to always do something, right? See, si ustedes han, han visto las preguntas, siempre les pide. For example, give examples from your experience. Uh, give yeah, you say the explain. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, you say explain what the Compassionate consumerism is, but that's I'm, as I'm telling you, I think the nervous and all that, that mm -hmm. attacked me, and I didn't find these linking words. Okay, I think you did a good job. Look, if, if you take this, you did a good job with the definition, you did a, a good job telling how it works, but the examples, I, yeah. that's where that's when you messed up, right? That's when you, you could probably yeah, I couldn't have, get that. Uh -huh. You could probably be a little more organized there. Okay. Very yeah, good. that's right. Right. All right. All right. Some, somebody else wants to try it? We only have time for one more. Somebody else wants to go? We only have three minutes. All right. Nobody else wants to go. Okay. All right, guys, so this is the test. So I hope you guys are doing this, right? Como les dije, this is a very difficult test. It's a high level test of English, but it's the it's the mo one of the most complete, okay? Uh, this test, the TOEFL, this test, the IBT and the CELTA, que es eh, como el equivalente de este examen, pero en Ingl Inglaterra. Um, those are, these are the difficult tests, in my opinion. These are difficult tests, right? These are university tests, right? No cualquiera um, will really be able to do these tests, all right, guys? But if you practice, if you use the strategies, I think you're going to do okay, all right? So go ahead and uh, listen to, to the videos that we have there and practice the test, right? The notes, my preparation for speaking, my linking words, my thought organization. So that's it, those four things, right? Taking notes, um, uh, organizing my preparation for my speaking, using linking words, and thought organization. Ahí está la clave. That's what you have to do. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Enjoy, enjoy the evening. Okay. Uh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, sí, con ustedes tengo clase el viernes, mañana, because we missed the class, right, on, on Tuesday. Okay, so we'll see each other uh, tomorrow, okay? Let's, let's practice tomorrow. Tomemos una hora mañana so that we can practice. Um, I hope everybody's finished with section four, right? Ya están terminando ahí section four. Era fácil, right? Did you finish section four? I haven't, I haven't finished my writing essay. But uh, uh, I, I got done today or tomorrow to do it. I, uh, no, I'm sorry. Section three in the platform. Sorry, section three is the speaking section. So yeah. you can you can finish section three, section four. We can leave it for. I mean, if you're hacer it, está bien. But uh, we're gonna look at it on Monday next week. All right. All right, guys. Are you doing YouTube? When is the deadline? I'm sorry. When is the deadline for section three? Uh, I think that we finish, uh, no, section three, the deadline should be this week. You should finish this week with section three. Section four, which is the writing section, right? Estoy hablando de la plataforma. Um, yeah. We finish next week. And I think our last class is going to be, sería Thursday, right? Our last class, uh, Thursday, the 18th, right? El 18, creo que es, right? Thir uh, Thursday, the 18th. That would be our last class. Y después inician otra vez el 22. Okay? So you guys, get ready, right? Send all the documentation. Ya, empiecen ya todo con los trámites de todo, right? Documentation and everything. Eh, ya deberían de ya haber entregado todo eso. If you have any questions, please write the admin in the chat group. In WhatsApp, okay? Ahí están los admins. Eh, escríbanle a ellos si tienen alguna pregunta de, de, de los papeles. 
Okay. All right, guys. I'll okay. See you I'm ready with it. Tomorrow I'm, then. I'm ready. Then. All right. Excellent. excellent. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good to hear. All right. Take care.